Imagine a bakery with an assembly line for processing orders, requests. Middleware, these are like the general stations on the assembly line that every single order, request, goes through. They handle common tasks like checking if the order is valid, authentication, labeling the order, adding headers to the response, logging the order details, filters, these are more specialized stations that only specific orders, requests, or go through. They focus on tasks related to the actual product being made, controller actions. For cake orders, specific controller, a filter might check if enough ingredients are available, authorization. For bread orders, another controller, a different filter might add a, a bake for 20 minutes, instruction, action filter. Scope. Middleware, think of middleware as a security checkpoint at the entrance of your bakery. Every single order, request, regardless of what it is, static file, API call, etc., goes through this checkpoint. Middleware is perfect for tasks that need to be applied to all incoming requests. Here are some common middleware use cases. Enforcing HTTPS connections. Logging all incoming requests. Adding custom headers to all responses. Redirecting requests based on certain criteria. Filters. Imagine these as specialized stations within the bakery dedicated to specific products, controllers, or razor pages. For example, the cake decorating station only handles cake orders, specific controller actions. Filters are ideal for tasks related to a particular controller or action within the MVC pipeline. Here are some examples of filter applications. Authorizing access to specific controllers based on user roles, like requiring a head baker role for the cake decorating station. Validating data coming from user input before processing it, like checking if the cake order specifies a valid flavor. Modifying the response data based on the action, adding decoration details to the cake order response. Access. Middleware. Middleware has access to the HTTP context object. This object provides information about the incoming request, like headers, URL, and body, and the outgoing response. It's like the basic order details the security guard at the entrance can see, what type of order it is, who placed it, etc. Filters. In addition to HTTP context, filters can access the MVC context object. This grants access to more detailed information specific to the MVC pipeline, like routing data, which controller action is being targeted, and model binding information, data extracted from the request for processing. It's like the cake decorator having access to the specific cake order details, including flavor, size, and any special instructions. Execution order. Middleware, the order of execution for middleware depends on the order you add them to the pipeline. It's a first-in, first-out, FIFO, approach. Imagine lining up the middleware components on the assembly line, the first one in line processes the order first, then it moves to the next one, and so on. Filters, filters have a predefined order based on their type. There are different categories of filters, such as authorization filters, action filters, and result filters. Each category executes in a specific order within the MVC pipeline. This ensures a logical flow for tasks like authorization happening before processing the action and modifying the response happening after the action execution.